Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Miles Review of the As Seen on TV Great Kitchen Secrets. So this is one of the highest rated As Seen on TV products I've ever seen. It's 4.5 out of 5 stars with 114 customer reviews. And it's the highest rated yet cheapest priced item. It's a book, but you can get this on Amazon for the price of 4 cents plus $3.99 shipping. So basically it's just $4 for this book that people seem to love. And I've just flipped through it a little bit. I'm gonna share some of those tips with you, but they are really good and they're insightful. And I think this would be a great gift for any chef in your family. So over, or yourself, over 5,000 proven hints and shortcuts. It's by Chef Tony Nataro. And uh, let me just open this up, and I'm actually going to demonstrate, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to actually demonstrate one of the uh, tips in this book. So, it's by Chef Tony and Dr. Miles H. Batter. The science behind secrets of grandma kitchen and cooking secrets. So it sounds kind of like, um, it doesn't really sound like a book that is actually going to, you know, it's kind of gimmicky. And uh, But I'm flipping through it, and there's some really great tips. So Chef Tony was born in Italian uh, Sicilian family in Brooklyn, New York, and that's my dog. He's trying to get my attention, so I'm gonna have to turn this off. All right, so my dog had to go outside. So now we're back to the video here. Uh, baked goods, fixed burned rice. Uh, if you accidentally burn rice, just remove the good rice and place it in a clean pot. Place a fresh piece of white bread or a thin layer of onion skin on top of the rice and continue cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes before removing the bread or onion skin and discarding them. Uh, there was another tip in this uh, book about pancakes and not using milk or water, but instead using club soda. Uh, this one I found really interesting, Cure Stale Coffee. Coffee will only stay fresh on a warming unit for 30 minutes. To freshen up, use a pinch of salt to a cup and then reheat it. Uh, let's see here. Another one I saw was uh, not reusing uh, oil because burnt oil is uh, a good source of trans fats, which you shouldn't be eating. So, yeah, look at, I mean, it's just tip after tip after tip. And just, you know, from the ones that I read... Um, I think those would be really useful to people. Okay, so the tip that I found that I'm going to try out, because I just couldn't believe it, is garlic smell in hands. So the problem, how do I get rid of garlic smell from my hands? Solution, to remove the garlic odor from your hands, try rubbing your hands with the salt, with salt on a slice of lemon, or rub your hands across the, the blade of a stainless steel knife. So, to get rid of, I'm going to try that first, because... I do not believe rubbing your hands across the blade of a stainless steel knife will have any effect on the garlic smell. But if it does, that would almost be kind of like a, a magical solution that you could tell all your friends about because uh, it's something I've never heard of. So let's try this out, see if it actually works. All right, so here we go. We have this garlic mincing gadget that I've actually reviewed on this channel. Just kind of spin it around, eats up the garlic. And there you go. I mean, definitely I'd take off the skin if it wasn't, I'm just testing this to get on my hands and uh, make them smelly. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna start wiping my hands with garlic. Okay, there we go. Smell my hands? Yeah, definitely garlicky. I'm gonna wash them, or just kind of rinse them off under the water. Smell them once again. And yeah, they do smell like garlic. All right, so I'm gonna wipe it on this stainless steel blade here. And they do still smell like garlic a little bit, but I'm honestly going to say they're a little bit less smelly. Alright, so I, I 
actually have a stainless steel bowl. I'm going to try to wipe it off on this. And yet, <laughs> surprisingly enough, it does, it seems like it's taking off the smell. I, I can't believe it. Has anyone ever heard of that? Leave in the comment section if you've, if you've actually heard of that. Alright, I'm just going to get them a little bit smellier. Kind of hold my hand here. Alright, I'm not going to wash them off under water. I'm just going to wipe it with a towel. And yeah, okay, so really garlicky now. I'm going to try that once again. Wipe it off on the stainless steel bowl. Okay, and then next on the blade. <laughs> and the smell does go away. I mean, it's not completely, not completely, but it goes from like, let's say 100% to, you know, 85% gone or 80% gone. So that's pretty amazing. All right, so next let's try the, the lemon here. Okay, get it all smelly, kind of rub it in my hands. And yeah, okay, so it's really, really smelly now. And let's cut this lemon open. Okay. So you rub it. Let's see, so yeah. So salt on a slice of lemon. Okay, here we go. Salt on a slice of lemon. Alright, gonna wash I dry my hands here. And yeah, so if the stainless steel was 85% better, the lemon is like 90 to 95% gone. Alright, let me wipe this off. And yeah, I can't really smell any garlic. I mean I definitely smell the lemon, but I think that's pretty much gone actually. So, awesome tips. So if you'd like me to review other tips, let me know. There's tons of them in this book. And uh, so do I recommend the As Seen on TV Great Kitchen Secrets by Chef Tony Notaro? The answer is yes, definitely. This has over 5,000 proven hints and shortcuts. And after reading this book, I don't think it's a gimmick. I think these are actually well thought out tips and tricks. And I definitely recommend this book. At the price point of about four bucks, I don't think this can be beaten. So thanks for watching my videos. If you haven't already, please, please subscribe. Push the subscribe button. No matter what you're doing right now, push the subscribe button. And uh, if you want to support my content, go to patreon.com slash nine malls. And it's really easy to sign up. I really appreciate it. If you want to support my videos and you want to have videos like this in the future, please support it. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. So it's a very easy process to sign up. It's a cool website. I believe they're based in San Francisco. So definitely go to that site and check it out. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.